Hello everyone, welcome back. So today's topic is going to be on C interview questions related to while loop. Okay, the previous video which I had covered, I would have taught you about if else conditional statements followed by few questions based on while looping concepts. Okay, now this is the continuation of the previous video where I'll be covering few more uh, code snippets related to C interview questions. Okay, now let's move on directly to the question number one, the first question. There is a variable which is declared a variable x which is initialized with value 0 now come to the condition while of x plus plus it is post increment okay so what will happen in post increment the current value of x would be considered and then later on after evaluating this expression it will be incremented by plus 1 so come here it will be while of 0 what is while of 0 now the condition is 0 right which means it is false please note any false values means return value will be 0 but all true values can be negative numbers or it can be negative positive numbers all these are true values for example you can have after evaluating the expression the return value can be 1 or it can be minus 1 or it can be 100 so any positive numbers or negative numbers are considered to be true values but false values will always be 0 please understand this okay then you can proceed so what is while of x plus plus so x is 0 so it is while of true it will not enter the while conditional statements uh, while looping constructs so immediately it come uh, come to line number 13 what is line number 13 there are no executable statements main method ends here so the output of the code snippet will be it prints nothing nothing is printed so let's check the output for this particular code i'll run the code see nothing is printed okay so the output is nothing is printed then we'll move on to the second question Just go through the second question. What is the second question? Hash define. I'm using hash define preprocessor directive. Hash define x as 0. Now, what is the value of x? It is 0. So, get inside the pro program. So, it is while of what is x? It is 0. 0 equal to 0. Is 0 equal to 0 true, right? So, the entire expression would be replaced by 1 if it is true value. Okay. Since it is true, what happens? It enters the while loop. Okay. Now there are two statements. The first statement is print as hello welcome. So the output will be hello welcome. This is the output which is displayed and after that there is a break encountered which means immediately after printing hello welcome for the first time since break is executed break statement will completely come out of the while loop. It does not move to the next iteration. So it immediately moves to line number 12 program ends here. So hello welcome is printed only once for this particular code snippet. Let's check. So I'm just running the program. The hello welcome is printed once. Okay. This is the second question. Let's move on to the third question. What is the third question? Int x equal to 6, right? While x is equal to 6 minus minus. Now just check. Have a look at this particular code snippet. It's a bit tricky question. 6 minus minus so once if you see this particular code snippet you would think okay the code is actually correct but please make sure increment or decrement operators cannot be implemented on literals or constants okay it can be only used on variables I can write as x minus minus or I can write x plus plus and so on but 6 minus minus is not valid which means syntax error Okay, so I'll get compile time error when I run this particular code. See the output here, L value required as decrement operand. Okay, so you should have a variable when you're making use of increment or decrement operators. Got it? So this is the third question. Now let's move on to the fourth question. It's very interesting. What is fourth question? Int x equal to 1. So x value of x is 1 while print as percentage c2 now understand printf what will printf do it will print 2 onto the terminal so 2 is the output what is the return value of this printf 2 is printed so how many characters only one character so return value will be 1 right okay so it will be while of 1 equal to equal to 1 equal to equal to what is x value 1 so all are positive numbers okay so it is always true right so it enters print hello hello is printed again it goes back so it's printing 2 then the same condition holds good it enters hello so this continues how many times infinite times so let's check the output 
the two hello two hello is printed continuously so this particular code snippet will result in infinite output okay let me stop the execution okay then move on to the next question question number five what is question number five Please note print as percentage LD. I am just using LD long integer to avoid warning when I am executing in the online compiler. Size of null. What is size of null? Please note down size of null is always 8 bytes. It's always 8 bytes. So it's printing size of null. Let's check. See it is 8 bytes. Okay, please note down size of null is always 8 bytes in case of online compilers. Okay, that's why I just uh, use this particular uh, code snippet here to tell you what is size of null. Okay, now check. Now observe this code snippet. Since you know what is size of null, will return. Now it will be easy for you to uh, find out what is the actual output of the code snippet. Int x is only a variable. I have not declared anything. I have not initialized anything. Okay, come here, line number 6, what is happening? While of size of null. Okay, just now I taught you what is size of null, it is 8. So, it will replace while of 8. True or false, it is true, right? Condition is true. If it is true, what happens? It enters the while loop, I am printing high. Output will be high is printed. Then, there is a continue statement here. What do you mean by continue? Don't move on with the next statement. Immediately, you continue with the next iteration. So, it goes back to line number 6. It doesn't go to line number 10. Okay, so break will not be executed at all. So it goes back again. It is size of null. So while of 8. So again it comes, it prints high. I think now you would have guessed right. For every iteration, high will be printed how many times? Infinite times. Let's run the code. See, high is printed infinite times. It's going on printing high. Okay. Let me stop the code. Okay, then we'll move on to the next question. Question number 7. Please observe question number 7. What is question number 7? Okay, now the previous example was size of null, right? Size of uh, uh, null was 8 bytes. Now, what is the size of 0? 0 is an integer value. What is size of 0? It is 4 bytes. So, this will be replaced by while of 4 because normal integer value will have 4 bytes, right? It is true. The condition is true. If it, if it is true, it enters. Okay. High is printed as output. Okay. After that, if size of 0, what is size of 0? If of 4, right? What is if of 4? It's also true. Condition is true because it is greater than, it is a non zero value, so it is true. So it comes inside. There is a break statement encountered, which means it immediately com comes out of the looping. Okay, then it moves to line number 13. So, what is the output here? High is printed once, right? And it comes out. Since there are no statements here, high will be printed once. This should be the output. Okay, one second. I'll just comment here. Let me run. See, high is printed only once. Got it? Understood? So, this is the code snippet. The next question, question number 8. What is question number 8? Can you guess what is the output? Int x equal to 2, y equal to 0. Fine. So, what is happening here? It is while of x minus y, 2 minus 0, right? What is 2 minus 0? While of 2. What is while of 2? It is true. If it is true, what happens? It enters. High is printed. Then it goes back. The same condition, right? So, again, high is printed. So, what is the answer? High will be printed infinite times. Okay? Let's check. See, high is printed infinite times. Okay? Now, we'll move on to the stop the execution. Let me delete the code. Move on to the next one. What is the next question? Okay, now this is very interesting. Now float x. What is x value? 
okay come here what is this while of 9.5 it is true or false it is true obviously it is true right a non zero value so it is true it can be decimal it can be a whole number etc okay so it is true so it enters now it will print high as the output then i am changing the value of x what is the value of x it is x equal to x minus what is x 9.5 minus 0.5 so what is the answer it should be 9 right 9.5 minus 0.5 is 9 okay now it comes in text whether x equal to 7.0 floating point value now since it is 9.0 it is 9.0 f 9.0 f it doesn't enter its statement so it goes back to line number 6 now again what is x value it is 9 now it checks 9.0 true or false it is true so it enters now high is printed once again okay then again it is minus 5 what will happen 9 minus 0.5 will be 8.5 okay now this is not equal to 7 so again it goes back now what is the condition here it is 8.5 true or false it is true right so it enters high will be printed once again okay then again it is 8.5 minus 8.5 minus 0.5 will be 8 okay this is not equal so again it goes back to line number 6 now 8.0 it is true value right again it can since it gets inside the while loop high is again printed so now it will be 8.0 minus 0.5 this will be 7.5 right okay it is not equal so again it goes back now the condition will be 7.5 true or false it is true right so again it prints high then again this will be 7.5 minus 0.5 now the answer is 7 which is equivalent to 7.0 f so now what happens it enters the condition is true here it enters there is a break which means it doesn't go to the next iteration it immediately comes out of the while loop so how many times high is printed five times okay now let's check the output one second okay high is printed five times okay so this is the output for this particular code snippet the next question okay now come check here just have a look at this particular code snippet for a minute x equal to 0 while semicolon semicolon printf high if x equal to 3 break x plus plus right is the syntax correct please check is the syntax correct wrong so what is the output you will get you will get compile time error now let's check because only one condition should be specified within while loop see here so the expression is before semicolon error expected expression before semicolon so it is an error so compile time error since we are not following the syntax of while loop okay now the next question what is 11th question this is very interesting while see here while not not of 8 correct while of not not of 8 first let's evaluate this what is not of 8 8 is true right what is not of true false so this will be 0 now after this it will be while of not of 0 will be 1 so what is 1 it is true okay not not of 8 not not of true not of true is false not of false is true so it enters so what do you mean the output will be high 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 and so on so infinite times high should be printed let's check see infinite times high is printed you got it okay now let's move on to the next question let's move on to the next question question number 12 okay can you guess while not of printf hello world while not of printf hello world so what will happen while of not of hello world right it will print hello world onto the terminal fine 
but what is the return value it is the number of characters that is displayed right hello world so hello world has 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so this will be not of while of 11 correct so what is the output here the condition while of not of 11 not of true will be zero so it is false so it comes out of the while loop so let's run the code see hello world is printed once after printing hello world the return value will be 11 not of 11 is 0 so only one hello world will be printed got it next question question number 13 okay this should be very interesting now observe it's an array okay you have two three now uh, let me put zero here while a of two so the first index is pointed by a of zero second one a of one third one a of 2 what is a of 2 0 okay a of 2 while 0 equal to what is a of 3 0 1 0 1 and 2 but what is a of 3 when you try to get retrieve the values out of range then the value of that will be 0 right so it is 0 a of 3 is not there so obviously it will be filled with zeros got it so the condition is true here if it is true it enters it enters the loop now check if a of 3 what is a of 3 a of 3 is 0 because no value has been given there so if of 0 false right so it enters what is else part break got it so it should not print anything so the output is it doesn't print anything got it you understood the flow a of 2 what is a of 2 it is pointing to 0 so 0 is equal to a of 3 what is a 3 there are no values assigned so obviously when no values are assigned it will be filled with 0 as array will be index will be filled with 0 that's why 0 equal to 0 then it comes and checks if a of 3 what is a of 3 no values here so it is 0 this false so it moves to else part and there is a break statement okay next question question number 14 question number 14 okay now observe this what this code i will actually do print f percentage d within single code 0 which means ascii value of 0 which means it will give you what is the ascii value of 0 so let me run the code 48 so what is ascii value of 0 it is 48 to find out any ascii value just use percentage d followed by ASCII value of 0 is 48. Now let me find out what is the ASCII value of 1. So 0 followed by 49. Okay. Now run. It is 49. So to print the ASCII value, this is the code snippet. Next one. Next question. While of ASCII value of 0. Now what is the condition? Previously I taught you what is ASCII value of 0, right? It is 48 while of 48 what is while of 48 it is true while of 48 is true so it will come here it will print hi once after printing there's immediately a break statement which means hi is printed only once it will come out of the while loop okay now let's run the code see hi is printed only once got it so any value which is given within single code the ascii value will be printed the next one while str equal to equal to it's an array string right array of character string but please do remember we cannot compare string in this manner we can use inbuilt function string compare so obviously it will move to the else part else part there's nothing here right there's nothing here so nothing will be printed output will be nothing is printed on the terminal so always it is false even though it is same you cannot just compare two strings using equality operator next question the last question okay it is conditional operator which means it is ternary operator i'll tell you i'll teach you now what is ternary operator so this is ternary operator okay now see here what is value of x x equal to zero while plus plus x now the condition will be while of 1 right it is true plus plus x means value will be incremented and that value i am using here so it enters 
Now I'm changing the value of x here. What is the value of x? x equal to first check minus minus x. What is minus minus x? Now x value has been changed to one, right? Now when when pre uh, pre decrement is done, minus minus x will be changed to zero, right? Zero. I'm checking whether zero is true or false here. That's why this question mark. Okay, true or false? Zero is true or false? This is false. When it is false, the second expression will be evaluated. When this particular condition is true, then first value will be evaluated. Got it? It will evaluate this expression using question mark. If the return value of this expression is true, the first expression will be considered. Otherwise, the second expression, if this particular condition is false, it moves to the second condition. So, what is the x value here? Obviously, else part. So, 1. So, output should be 1. Right? See what's happening? 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. Okay. For this particular case here, it prints 1, print F1. Okay. You got it. Again, it goes back. Now, it doesn't come to this particular printf statement. Again, it goes back. Now, what is value of x? x is 0, right? So, it will go back again 1. So, again, it will come. So, it will print 0. 1, 0, 1, 0 will be automatically printed. 0 is this particular condition. Okay. So, this is infinite loop. So, I hope you understood the video. Thank you.